Turning again to the forecast, a mix of rain and snow falling over parts of our viewing area this afternoon, and it looks like it will be sticking around a little while longer. CBS 2 meteorologist Mary Kay Kleist is here with details on what's been a less than stellar forecast, Mary Kay, but I know change is eventually on the way. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, Marie and Jim, but yes, you know what? We're going to keep rain and snow showers in tonight. Even tomorrow, we have a 70% chance to have a, a day that starts with snow, ends up as cold rain. And even Friday morning, I left in a tiny chance of rain lakeside for northwest Indiana. Saturday looks great, but then Sunday, wouldn't you know it, another system heads in our direction. Right now, we are holding at 38 degrees, but boy, when you factor in the wind, it feels so much colder because it feels like the 20s and that's going to be the case this evening. So on first alert radar, we have basically steady temperatures. That's going to be the trend as we go into tonight. So upper 30s is where we're hovering. Few wet snowflakes trying to mix in closer to Rockford, but otherwise it is chilly rain around Chicago. It is starting to lighten up though just a bit, but not the winds. The winds are still pulling northwesterly quite gusty at this hour as well. We will keep it windy tonight and then during the day tomorrow we start picking up more of a northerly wind component and that's what's going to generate that lake enhancement chance Thursday night into Friday for Northwest Indiana. So right now it feels like the 20s, the Fox River Valley kind of hovering there around 26 degrees. So it is a chilly evening as we head into tonight. We have this area of low pressure that's just in place across the lower part of the lake. So as we go through the night, we'll keep it cloudy. We'll keep temperatures in the middle 30s and we will keep that rain and snow chance in the forecast. So tomorrow, I think we're going to actually start with light snow showers, change it over to some cold rain by the time we get into the afternoon. So you want to keep the rain gear handy and maybe a thicker rain jacket if you got it, because temperatures are going to be struggling. We'll be pushing highs only in the lower 40s, but it'll never feel like that because of the winds. So when we track this system, we see that in the morning, we're going to see a new plume of snow shower activity. Try to edge our way from Wisconsin, and that's going to be with us for the morning rush. Not expecting accumulation, but wet snowflakes change to chilly rain as we get into the afternoon. Spotty light rain, but definitely cold rain. Then, as I mentioned, Thursday night into Friday, northerly winds keep that small chance in for northwest Indiana in the morning. And then finally, we start clearing as we step into the weekend. But as I mentioned earlier, the weekend's going to be half dry half wet. So here's what we expect. Sunshine for Saturday and then Sunday chance of rain moving back into the forecast. It looks like good coverage of rain as well. So as we look through the weekend, we move to 50 and kind of hover there this weekend. And then that rain moves in for Sunday. Now the good news is it looks like it should be out of here in time to try and catch a glimpse of the eclipse on Monday. But the wild card is the cloud deck. Models want to hold cloud cover in for at least the first half of the day. The question is, will it clear out in time to take a look at uh, all the changes happening in the afternoon? We're going to keep watching that. But what I do see, Jim and Marie, I know you'll love this in our 10 day trend. Once we get through this hump right now, we have milder days coming, especially leading through much of next week. We do love it. Yeah, it, it'll be here before we know. Yes. Thank Thanks, you, Mary, Mary Kay. Kay.